Guys, it's Ando here. I'm going to show you the updated glitch on how to play Fortnite without Xbox Live on the Xbox One now. Um, guys, so if you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you smash big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications so you know when I go live on YouTube or upload a video, guys. And let's get straight into the glitch. Now, if you haven't seen the first glitch, I'll put it top of the, uh, top of the, the description as it does still work. However, it is it, for some people this new sort of method will work better for them so um when you're on this screen here you just want to simply press a to start and it'll come up if you don't have xbox live obviously with this message here now you want to just back off that click b and then it'll come up login failed now all this is the same as the last glitch but what's different is well this isn't different you want to go to network network settings go offline and then when you go back online, it'll come up at the bottom and it'll either say um, that it's all the surface info is available or it comes up with another like bunch of writing like it has been doing for me recently. Um, but basically you just want to click spam B twice and then A as quick as you can, just BBA, as quick as you can. And then that's where stuff will be slightly different. So we're going to click go online and then whenever it comes up with the message, so for me, it said all services available. You just want to BBA, and now, the, if it's worked, the loading bar will stutter. However, this is what the issue people have been having with the old one, because with the old one, it had just come up, it just basically logged straight in. With this one, it says login failed again, and now what people have been doing is doing all this again, so settings and then network, whatever, and then going offline again, but. I'll show you in a minute when it um, when we go back on. So remember, as soon as it comes up. So people have been doing that, and it's basically just coming up with this message again. And that's why people think it's not working. However, what you want to do instead, guys, as soon as it comes up with login fail for the first time, or whenever if you've done this, you want to go offline go online and again soon it says all service info is available or whatever writing as soon as it changes bba and it crashes so that's basically what's been happening happening for um for others however what you want to do now so we'll load fauna back up again and uh, what you want to do is as soon as it comes up with a login failed you want to click a as fast as you can again now i'll show you in a minute when it loads so guys, when you're back on this screen, when you loaded Fortnite back up again, you just want to load into Fortnite, I'll say patching or whatever it says for you, come up with that message again, just back off it straight away, it doesn't really matter. So when it says login failed, you want to go to settings, now it sends, go offline. Now I've shown you what not to do, this is what you do. So go online, and again, as soon as it updates, so quick BBA, and it'll now say you're logging in, do the little stutter bar thing, It'll say it's checking Epic Service Q. And then what you want to do is, as soon as it comes onto that login failed, just click A again. Or, and then it'll just, it'll just load you in as normal. So here we go. Now, when you're on this loading screen again, and the annoying thing about this glitch, however I think it's worth it, is every time you you have to do that every time you load up Fortnite sort of thing, but it's it's free, so <laughs> why wouldn't you do it? And um, also every time, well not every time, but most times before you go into a game, and then when you come out of a game, it'll it'll come up with the um with the same message again. But we'll just go in. Look, you can play everything. Uh, so we just fly explosive duos, play. We ready me up. We'll hop into a game now, just to prove to you that it works. I'll jump out just so you know it works and then I'll leave the game. Look, everything works, everything's normal. Don't worry. But anyway, I'll pop out of that. 
and uh, this is one of the downsides to it. When you leave, um, it should come up with the Xbox Live message. That is, but as soon as it, you'll see, you'll know when it pops up because the screen will go grey or white or black, whatever you have. You think like that, it darkens. You just want to click just back off it, just back off it, just ignore it. But anyway, guys, that is the updated version of the glitch to play Fortnite without Xbox Live. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. If it has helped, smash the like button, share it around, help with your friends. Subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload.